Hydrazine is an inorganic compound with the formula N2H4. It is a colorless flammable liquid with an ammonia-like odor. Hydrazine is highly toxic and dangerously unstable unless handled in solution. As of 2000, approximately 120,000 tons of hydrazine hydrate were manufactured worldwide per year. Hydrazine is mainly used as a foaming agent in preparing polymer foams, but significant applications also include its uses as a precursor to polymerization catalysts and pharmaceuticals. Additionally, hydrazine is used in various rocket fuels and to prepare the gas precursors used in airbags. Hydrazine is used within both nuclear and conventional electrical power plant steam cycles as an oxygen scavenger to control concentrations of dissolved oxygen in an effort to reduce corrosion. Molecular structure and properties Hydrazine forms a manuidrate that is more dense than the anhydrous material. Hydrazine can arise via coupling a pair of ammonia molecules by removal of one hydrogen per molecule. Each H2 and N subunit is pyramidal in shape. The NN single bond distance is 1.45A, and the molecule adopts a gauche conformation. The rotational barrier is twice that of ethane. These structural properties resemble those of gaseous hydrogen peroxide which adopts a skewed anticlinal conformation, and also experiences a strong rotational barrier. Hydrazine has basic chemical properties comparable to those of ammonia, N2H4 plus H2O A, N2H5, plus plus O A, with the values, Kb equals 1.3 x 10 A6, pKa equals 8.1, for ammonia Kb equals 1.78 x 10 A5, hydrazine is difficult to deprotonate, N2H5, plus plus H2O A, N2H6, 2 plus plus O A Kb equals 8.4 X 10 A16, the heat of combustion of hydrazine in oxygen is 1.941 X 107 joules per kilogram. Synthesis and manufacture, different syntheses hinge on creating the nitrogen-nitrogen single bond. Oxidation by chlorone from hypochlorite on ammonia. Hydrazine is produced in the olin raskig process from sodium hypochlorite and ammonia, a process announced in 1907. This method relies on the reaction of chlorine with ammonia to create the nitrogen-nitrogen single bond, NH2Cl plus NH3LH2 and NH2 plus HCl. Variations of the olin raskig process are the key design and peroxide processes. Oxidation by akshaziridine from peroxide on ammonia. Hydrazine can be synthesized from ammonia and hydrogen peroxide in the pekin eugen kielmann process or the atto fine euro pc uk cycle, according to the following formula, 2NH3 plus H2O2 H2 and NH2 plus 2 hours 2O, in the atto fine euro pc uk cycle, hydrazine is produced in several steps from acetone, ammonia, and hydrogen peroxide. Acetone and ammonia first react to give the amine which hydrogen peroxide oxidizes to akshaziridine, a three-membered ring containing carbon, oxygen, and nitrogen. Next, the akshaziridine gives hydrazone by aminolysis, a process creating the nitrogen-nitrogen single bond. This hydrazone reacts with one more equivalent of acetone. The resulting acetonazine is hydrolyzed to give hydrazine and regenerate acetone. Unlike the Raskig process, the PCUK process does not produce a salt. Oxidation from hypochlorite on urea, another route of hydrazine synthesis involves oxidation of urea with sodium hypochlorite, H2N, 2 carats equals O plus Nal OCl plus 2 Nal on 2 h 4 plus H2O plus NaCl plus Nal 2 CO3. Applications, the majority use of hydrazine is as a precursor to blowing agents. Specific compounds include azotic carbonamide and azobisosobutyru nitrile, which yield 100 to 200 milliliters of gas per gram of precursor. In a related application, sodium acid, the gas-forming agent in airbags, is produced from hydrazine by reaction with sodium nitrite. Hydrazine is also used as a propellant on board space vehicles, and to both reduce the concentration of dissolved oxygen in and control pH of water used in large industrial boilers. The F-16 fighter jet uses hydrazine to fuel the aircraft's emergency power unit. Precursor to pesticides and pharmaceuticals, 
Hydrazine is a useful building block in organic synthesis of pharmaceuticals and pesticides. One example is 3 amino 1, 2, 4 triazole, and another is maleic hydrazide. The antitubercular drug isoniazide is prepared from hydrazine. Hydrazine in biology Hydrazine is the intermediate in the anaerobic oxidation of ammonia process. It is produced by some yeasts and the open ocean bacterium Anamox. The false morel produces the poison gyrometrin, which is an organic derivative of hydrazine that is converted to monomethylhydrazine by metabolic processes. Even the most popular edible button mushroom Agaricus bisporus produces organic hydrazine derivatives, including agaritine, a hydrazine derivative of an amino acid, and gyrometrin. Organic chemistry Hydrazines are part of many organic syntheses, often those of practical significance in pharmaceuticals such as the antituberculosis medication isoniazid and the antifungal fluconazole, as well as in textile dyes and in photography. Hydrazone formation, illustrative of the condensation of hydrazine with a simple carbonyl is its reaction with proponin to give the diisopropylid and hydrazine. The latter reacts further with hydrazine to yield the hydrazone, 22CO plus and 2H4 are 2 hours 2O plus, CH3, 2 carats equals N, 2, CH3, 2 carats equals N, 2 plus and 2 H4 are 22 carats equals NNH2, the proponin azine is an intermediate in the Atofana PCUK process. Direct alkylation of hydrazines with alkyl halides in the presence of base yields alkyl substituted hydrazines, but the reaction is typically inefficient due to poor control on level of substitution. The reduction of hydrazones to hydrazines present a clean way to produce one. 1 dealkylated hydrazines. In a related reaction, two cyanoprodines react with hydrazine to form amide hydrazides, which can be converted using 1, 2 dictones into triazines. Wolf Kishner reduction Hydrazine is used in the Wolf Kishner reduction, a reaction that transforms the carbonyl group of a ketone into a methylene bridge via a hydrazone intermediate. The production of the highly stable dinitrogen from the hydrazine derivative helps to drive the reaction. Heterocyclic chemistry, being bifunctional, with two amines, hydrazine is a key building block for the preparation of many heterocyclic compounds via condensation with a range of difunctional electrophiles. With 2,4-pentanedione, it condenses to give the 3,5-dimethylpyrazole. In the Einhornbrunner reaction hydrazines react with amides to give triazoles. Sulfonation, being a good nucleophile, N2H4 can attack sulfonyl halides and acyl halides. The tosylhydrazine also forms hydrazones upon treatment with carbonyls. Deprotection of thalamides, hydrazine is used to cleave n alkylated thalamide derivatives. The scission reaction allows thalamide anion to be used as a precursor in the Gabriel synthesis. Reducing agent, hydrazine is a convenient reductant because the byproducts are typically nitrogen gas and water. Thus, it is used as an antioxidant, an oxygen scavenger, and a corrosion inhibitor in water boilers and heating systems. It is also used to reduce metal salts and oxides to the pure metals in electrolysis nickel plating and plutonium extraction from nuclear reactor waste. Some color photographic processes also use a weak solution of hydrazine as a stabilizing wash, as it scavenges dicarpola and unreacted silver halides. Hydrazine is the most common and effective reducing agent used to convert graphene oxide to reduced graphene oxide via hydrothermal treatment. Hydrazinium salts Hydrazine is converted to solid salts by treatment with mineral acids. A common salt is hydrazine sulfate. N2H5, HSO4, called hydrazinium sulfate. Hydrazine sulfate was investigated as a treatment of cancer induced cachexia, but proved ineffective. Hydrazine acid, the salt of hydrazine and hydrozoic acid, was of scientific interest, because of its high nitrogen content and explosive properties. Structurally, it is N, 2 hours, 5, plus N, 3, A. It decomposes explosively into hydrazine, ammonia and nitrogen gas, 12N, 5 hours, 5 or 3N, 2 hours, 4 plus 16NH, 3 plus 19N, 2, 
reaction of N, 5 hours, 5 with sulfuric acid gives quantitative yields of pure hydrazine sulfate and hydrozoic acid. Other industrial uses, hydrazine is used in many processes including, production of spandex fibers, as a polymerization catalyst. In fuel cells, solder fluxes, and photographic developers, as a chain extender in urethane polymerizations, and heat stabilizers. In addition, a semiconductor deposition technique using hydrazine has recently been demonstrated, with possible application to the manufacture of thin film transistors used in liquid crystal displays. Hydrazine in a 70% hydrazine, 30% water solution is used to power the EPU on the Lockheed F-16 Fighting Falcon fighter plane. The explosive astrolyte is made by combining hydrazine with ammonium nitrate. Hydrazine is often used as an oxygen scavenger and corrosion inhibitor in boiler water treatment. However due to the toxicity and certain undesired effects this practice is discouraged. Rocket Fuel Hydrazine was first used as a rocket fuel during World War II for the Messerschmitt Mi-163B, under the codename B-Stoff. When mixed with methanol and water it was called C-Stoff. Hydrazine is also used as a low-power monopropellant for the maneuvering thrusters of spacecraft, and the Space Shuttle's auxiliary power units. In addition, monopropellant hydrazine-fueled rocket engines are often used in terminal descent of spacecraft. Such engines were used on the Viking program landers in the 1970s as well as the Phoenix Lander and Curiosity rover which landed on Mars in May 2008 and August 2012, respectively. In all hydrazine monopropellant engines, the hydrazine is passed by a catalyst such as iridium metal supported by high surface area alumina or carbon nanofibers, or more recently molybdenum nitride on alumina, which causes it to decompose into ammonia nitrogen gas, and hydrogen gas according to the following reactions, 3N2H4 of 4NH3 plus N2, N2H4 of N2 plus 2 hours 2, 4NH3 plus N2H4 of 3N2 plus 8 hours 2, reactions 1 and 2 are extremely exothermic and they produce large volumes of hot gas from a small volume of liquid, making hydrazine a fairly efficient thruster propellant with a vacuum-specific impulse of about 220 seconds. Reaction 3 is endothermic and so reduces the temperature of the products, but also produces a greater number of the molecules. The catalyst structure affects the proportion of the NH3 that is dissociated in reaction 3. A higher temperature is desirable for rocket thrusters, while more molecules are desirable when the reactions are intended to produce greater quantities of gas. Other variants of hydrazine that are used as rocket fuel are monomethylhydrazine, NH, NH2, and unsymmetrical dimethylhydrazine, 2N, NH2. These derivatives are used in two-component rocket fuels, often together with nitrogen tetroxide, N2O4, sometimes known as dinitrogen tetroxide. These reactions are extremely exothermic, and the burning is also hypergolic, which means that it starts without any external ignition source. There are ongoing efforts to replace hydrazine along with other highly toxic substances from the aerospace industry. Promising alternatives include hydroxyl ammonium nitrate, 2 dimethyl aminoethylazide and energetic ionic liquids. Fuel cells the Italian catalyst manufacturer Reactor has proposed using hydrazine as an alternative to hydrogen in fuel cells. The chief benefit of using hydrazine is that it can produce over 200 megawatts per centimeter to more than a similar hydrogen cell without the need to use expensive platinum catalysts. As the fuel is liquid at room temperature, it can be handled and stored more easily than hydrogen. By storing the hydrazine in a tank full of a double bonded carbon oxygen carbonyl, the fuel reacts and forms a safe solid called hydrazon. By then flushing the tank with warm water, the liquid hydrazine hydrate is released. Hydrazine has a higher electromotive force of 1.56 V compared to 1.23 V for hydrogen. Hydrazine breaks down in the cell to form nitrogen and hydrogen which bonds with oxygen, releasing water. Hydrazine was used in fuel cells manufactured by Alice Chalmers Corporation including some that provided electric power in space satellites in the 1960s. Gun propellant, 
a mixture of 63% hydrazine, 32% hydrazine nitrate and 5% water is a standard propellant for experimental bulk-loaded liquid propellant artillery. The propellant mixture above is notable for being one of the most predictable and stable, with a remarkably flat pressure profile during firing. Misfires are usually caused by inadequate ignition. The movement of the shell after a misignition causes a large bubble with a larger ignition surface area, and the greater rate of gas production causes very high pressure, sometimes including catastrophic tube failures. Hazards Hydrazine is highly toxic and dangerously unstable in the anhydrous form. According to the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency, symptoms of acute exposure to high levels of hydrazine may include irritation of the eyes, nose, and throat, dizziness, headache, nausea, pulmonary edema, seizures, coma in humans. Acute exposure can also damage the liver, kidneys, and central nervous system. The liquid is corrosive and may produce dermatitis from skin contact in humans and animals. Effects to the lungs, liver, spleen, and thyroid have been reported in animals chronically exposed to hydrazine via inhalation. Increased incidences of lung, nasal cavity, and liver tumors have been observed in rodents exposed to hydrazine. Limit tests for hydrazine in pharmaceuticals suggest that it should be in the low ppm range. Hydrazine may also cause steatosis. At least one human is known to have died after six months of sublethal exposure to hydrazine hydrate. On February 21, 2008, the United States government destroyed the disabled spy satellite USA-193 with a sea-launched missile, reportedly due to the potential danger of a hydrazine release if it re-entered the Earth's atmosphere intact. History the name hydrazine was coined by Emil Fischer in 1875. He was trying to produce organic compounds that consisted of monosubstituted hydrazine. By 1887, Theodore Curtius had produced hydrazine sulfate by treating organic diazides with dilute sulfuric acid. However, he was unable to obtain pure hydrazine, despite repeated efforts. Pure anhydrous hydrazine was first prepared by the Dutch chemist Lobry de Brien in 1895. See also, Dyson, hydrazine sulfate, list of stoffs, nitrous oxide fuel blend, USA 193, references. External links, The Late Show with Rob. Tone de Euro Unregistered Trademark S Special Guest, Hydrazine Euro Robert Matunas, Hydrazine, Chemical Product Info. Properties, Production, Applications. Hydrazine Toxicity, CDC, NIOSH Pocket Guide to Chemical Hazards.